Hi guys, it's Virginia for Noelle Mignon here with the Cabin Fever Kit. And um, my house is a little chaotic this morning, as I'm sure yours is as well. It's Christmas Eve Eve, and we're getting ready to, for family Christmas parties. And you can see my house is in disarray around me. But I wanted to show you guys this kit because it's wonderful. Okay, so first off, we've got this. I've got the little bag of embellishments, and I'm kind of going through it. I want to show you guys everything. We've got this awesome little pile of buttons. There's tons in here, along with little tiny paper hearts. Love those colors. We've got these little brads that are really neat. Um, they're raised up. They look like old typewriter keys. And um, I can see a lot of possibilities with those. Embossing and inking and all sorts of fun stuff in their little brads. We've got clear snowflakes. A great sticker sheet from Pink Paisley. And it's got two colors, pink and blue. We've got a wonderful stamp from Jenny Bolin. It's this acrylic stamp, and I love just the distressed look of that. This super excited mistable wooden snowflake or doily from Maya Road. We've got some L Studio cut aparts. Love these. I could use these on everything. You can hear my children in the background. Yay! Merry Christmas. We've got all sorts of lovely little um, punch outs and little tiny paper embellishments in this bag. There's a ton of little paper hearts in here. They're cut out of um, maps and just like great little fun embellishments. There's also a couple of canvas buttons. These would be so great stitched on and misted or just plain which I kind of like them just playing too. We've got a great sticker sheet here from my mind's eye. It's three-dimensional cardstock stickers. There's also some other pieces from my mind's eye from the Happy Days line. There's these rhinestones. Hello, love the chevron. So cute. There's a little tiny garland. Super cute. We've got a whole strip of tickets that are craft. And, of course, what scrapbooker wouldn't want a whole package of awesome colored twine? And then some extra fun things. Um, we've got some Mr. Huey's um, spritz, and this is in the dewy color. And it's kind of like this um, pale teal color. Love that. And then this awesome little array of fabric. These are um, like a soft flannel and then a strip of burlap. And then we've got my road little pins in there with buttons on them. And there's four all together. So that's awesome. So fun. Okay. And then we'll get to the big bag of stuff. So much stuff. And I have not even gone through all of this yet. So we are seeing this with fresh eyes. Sarsaparilla label stickers from October Afternoon. I love this line. I think it'll be really cute with my kids. We have lots of stuff that will go with cowboy themed stuff. These wonderful stickers from Fancy Pants. It's Winterland in a pale pink and you can see that each letter has like extra little flourishes and stuff on it. And then Jelly Bean Soup chipboard alphabets in this great um, wood grain. And I love just the contrast of like the rough and the super frilly. Like, that's such a great contrast. Let's see what else is in this bag. Ooh, I see Hambly wood grain rub ons and graph. Love me some Hambly rub ons. They are the best. Some more tickets. These ones tear apart. Great little felt banner. How fun is that? We've got some more L Studio cut aparts. These are great. Some fabrics from Studio Calico. This is a new um, product for me to try out. I've never tried these before. I'm excited to make flowers and all sorts of fun stuff with that. Also got another fun little cardstock strip in here from my mind's eye. All right, on to the paper. We've got some jelly bean soup here right on top. I love the blue and the green. And then the other side is technically Christmas, but it's just a text, so it can, it can go both ways. We've got pink paisley, little mittens, and then a great kind of almost cross-stitch looking background. Pink damask and the blue stripe. 
great chevron here from my mind's eye and then love these stars I have a thing about stars I love the craft weight of this paper it's really thick this is such a cool piece of paper I love it I will be cutting apart all of those flowers and then it's just kind of like a gingham but it's black and craft okay how beautiful is this piece of paper I love it and some great ledger on that side some cute pennant banners and polka dots I mean wow love that line there's um, several pieces of cardstock in this kit as Noel always likes to include cardstock we've got a turquoise or like a really pale turquoise some crafts some brown some white and some pink whoops let's get that up there so you can see all of the colors there we go that's a great selection of cardstock we've got October afternoon more from sarsaparilla cool is that tumbleweed a great plaid with this awesome map paper on the other side it's a really pretty blue love love the combination of the extra feminine against the really rugged look this is from Studio Calico. I love this side. That's a great, great classic background. Got this cool print with wonderful, again, chevron. And this is kind of like a brown, like a grayish toned brown, if you can't tell from the colors picking up. And then we got a great wood grain over here. I can just see that spritz showing up awesome against those um, colors. And then this is from Fancy Pants. Love anything with a great big bright polka dot. This is actually, if you can see, it's got almost a fabric look to it. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but it's got kind of almost a fabric print. A little polka dot. Love this floral. Got a great graph on that side with pretty pattern on that side. Oh, a text sheet. You know I love me some text. And then a nice just brown. And then really pretty color. It matches that um, mist almost. And then some great cut aparts on this side. So there it is. I'm in love with this kit. I know I say that every time, but I believe this is my new favorite. Love the colors, the feel of it, the contrast of the feminine and the rugged. I know I've said that a couple of times, but I really like that. That's kind of my style. So I hope y'all get it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend, um, that it's sweet and happy and not like screaming children in the background.